Hello guys, thank you for coming to another math class. Today we are going to talk about Carroll diagrams. But what is Carroll diagram? Carroll diagram is a specific way to organize information according with rows and columns characteristics. This is the scheme what appears for Carroll diagrams. So in the Carroll diagrams, we have columns and rows, as I told you, and we have to organize with this information. For example, in the column A, we have to put all information in this column. In the column B, we have to put also all the information according with B in this column. Now, with row C, we have to put information in this way and finally with column D also we need organize the information in this row and now we have to compare information between C and A we have to put that information here in C and A in the intersection that there is between C and A now between C and B we have to put the information here between D and A. We have to put the information also here and finally the information that is B and D we have to put that information here in this part of the Carroll diagram. Continue with another specific example. Organize the numbers in each section of these Carroll diagrams but we can organize in any part. We have to organize in a, a specific section. So we have different numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, and 12. So here appears our Carroll diagrams. In the first column, we have multiples of 3. Remember that is all columns with multiples of 3. In the second one, we have not multiples of 3. Now, in the first row, we have even numbers. In this row, will appear even numbers. And finally, in odd, in the last row, up to appears odd numbers. Check with three. Three is here. Why here? Because three is multiple of three and is an odd number. Very good. Four. 4 is not a multiple of 3 and is an even number. Perfect. 5. Where do you think that is 5? Okay, very good. 5 is an odd number and is not a multiple of 3. Very good. 6. Perfect. Is an even number and multiple of 3 because 2 times 3 equals to 6. Very good. Now, 7. 7 is an odd number and not multiple of 3. So now, 9. Perfect, because 9 is a multiple of 3. 3 times 3 equals to 9 is an odd number. Now, 10. Perfect, 10 is an even number and not multiple of 3. And finally, what do you think that must be 12? Absolutely. Here in that place because 3 times 4 equals to 12 and 12 is an even number perfect guys i hope that you enjoy it this class i wait for you in the next class thank you so much okay guys please like the video write comments and don't forget to subscribe and activate the ring for notifications i wait for you in the next class. Bye bye.